UK election results live, Tories surge into surprise early London lead, Sadiq Khan crisis. Polls results are now starting to come in and London's Tory mayoral candidate Sean Bailey is currently leading Sadiq Khan, according to early reports. Mr. Bailey is currently 5% in the polls as of 11am. According to reports, Mr. Bailey is standing at 40% of the vote so far while the current mayor is registering at 35. Green candidate is at 8% while the Lib Dems Louisa Porritt is on 4%. Losing the capital would be a major blow to Labour as London has recently become a stronghold for the party. In a major blow to Sir Keir Starmer, the Tories are already up 62 seats despite being in government for 11 years. The Tories won Hartlepool earlier today, a Labour stronghold since 1974. Losing the seat is a major blow Sir Keir who becomes one of the first Labour leaders to lose their first by-election. Labour's crisis has continued, however, as the party also lost its council leader in Oldham this morning, an independent candidate has now taken the seat. The next Scottish Parliament, Welsh Senedd, London Mayor and London Assembly will be determined. Elections have also taken place for 13 regional mayors, 39 police and crime commissioners and 143 English councils. Counting will begin overnight in some areas with results expected from Hartlepool and certain council elections. However due to the coronavirus pandemic counting is expected to take longer than usual, with most results coming in between Friday and Monday. In Scotland the SNP is seeking the mandate for another independence referendum. Unionist parties are aiming to weaken Nicola Sturgeon by depriving the SNP of an absolute majority. Welsh 16 and 17 year olds were able to vote for the first time for the Senedd election. Labour is expected to remain the dominant party in Wales but is facing challenges from the Conservatives and Welsh nationalists. The Prime Minister has claimed the early results of the election are very encouraging. He added the reason for the uptick from the election is due to the government focusing on our priorities, the people's priorities, and bouncing back from the pandemic as much as we can. The Lib Dems have taken the Cambridgeshire Council seat of Duxford from the Tories. The Lib Dems took 48.3%, the Tories 41.1% and the Green Party who received 10.6%. Counting began at 11.30 a.m. this morning and has shown Sean Bailey to have taken an early lead with 40% of the vote. Sadiq Khan is on 35%, the Greens' Sean Berry is at 8% while the Lib Dem candidate Louisa Porritt is on 4%.
The full results for Thurrock are now in and the Tories have held the council. Indeed, the Tories have increased their share by six after winning 13 seats. Those six were from UKIP while Labour won four which is no change of their overall number. The Tories have won 12 seats in Harlow, an increase of seven taking their total to 20. Labour received one and now stand with 13. In what was one of the first attacks against the new Labour leader, Lloyd Russell Moyle MP for Kemptown and Peacehaven stated the strategy has not worked. He said, good to see valueless flag waving and suit wearing working so well, or not. Commenting on Labour's poor morning, the former advisor said, a measure of how bad KS is, until I googled yesterday I didn't know who Shadow CHX is and when I looked at a photo I had zero recognition, she never touched my consciousness in a year.